Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last part, we were catching up with Chloe, we were catching up with her family, and we're still in the middle of that. Um, after we talk to Joyce, we're about to go give Chloe her morphine. Uh, and that's about it, so let's get into it. Okay, resume. Eco havoc. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Mm -hmm. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Spinal center. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Bess, Dr. Anton Fibs. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of like, in order to get this time with her dad, she had to, uh, she had to die in his place. Just slower, I guess. She had to suffer. Okay, let's go back to Chloe. Let's look at the kitchen first. I don't think we looked here. Well, I guess we did, because I looked at that. I think I just heard William say we are screwed. So Chloe's room is really the garage right now. Okay, well, let's give her the morphine, I guess. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Oh, Max, I'm good so day. grateful that I'm even able to oh. hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Oh. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. True. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Okay, let me see. Uh, photo album. Oh, didn't mean to do Despite that. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Okay, I got the photo album. Easiest quest ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Did 
turn page. Wow, I stand corrected. Awesome That's picture. the easiest quest ever. Looks so badass in her pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. <laughs> oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. Ah, oh, fuck. I, is she gonna ask us to see all her? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Fuck. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Nope. Or I could just rewind time. I'm sorry? Just let me, uh, rewind, please. Um, I don't know. Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Mm. Look at me. Sure. I'm at the mercy of everybody. Mm. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Wow. <sighs> okay, it doesn't matter. I can rewind anyway. I'll just drift to sleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. It's a peaceful way to go. I mean, I get it, but also, like, fuck. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Oh. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Oof. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's rewind right now, please. literally gonna have to die because this reality isn't much better anyway.
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. That's fast forwarding Hello. everything now. Hey, honey. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you had to. She's so her. sad. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Shit, where am I? Time train? travel has consequences. You mean your college, boss? She's burning it so that she can't go back. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving. That makes all of us. Hmm. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, Oof. I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. saw that photo before. Is that her and Rachel? Probably. I've never seen these ones. Okay. What were we doing in that photo? Taking something upstairs? Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. <laughs> you get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. Yeah. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. I think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I think you can. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Okay. Not much. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. 
and see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three beats Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <laughs> Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Oof. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Oh, photo. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Okay, let's see. What else can we look at? Yes, Chloe Price was here. Oh my god. So many goddamn cigarettes. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? A lot. That's a good photo to have if we want to go no. back to the beginning. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. I thought we shoot it out. Oh, that was, um... That was in the other reality. Is there a window over here? There's one right here. Can I open it? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let me, uh, try to get this bird out of here. Where's this cute little bird? Okay, let me turn the light back off like a decent human being. Okay. Fly. Be free. There we go. Okay, that's going to have an effect. It's probably just going to save the bird, really. Hold on, can I, uh... Since David nope. might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Okay, let's go. Oof. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. I didn't do David, shit. I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. That sounds like a mild threat. Okay, we need to look at the uh David isn't and any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Oop, oh I got messages. Okay, I always press the wrong button. Okay, let me see. Uh oh. Hold on. What up Max? I got a B plus on my chem test. B plus? Is that a bad thing? Talk to my parents. They pay the bills. You'll survive. Let's mourn later. We changed it to uh, B plus instead of B minus. Uh, yo yo Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. What? Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go ape with you unless you want to chill with Chloe or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to jet. Talk to you later. So Chloe texted him? Then I'm out of the loop. That's weird. Hold on. Let me check my messages. Do 
do I have one what from everyone? Uh, what is happening? What is hap- have I not read any of these? Um, I don't know. Mm. Okay. Well, hold on, let me see. Okay, thanks, Pop. Okay, got it. Hey, honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a blocked number. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some jackass in my class thought that would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Okay, then Juliet. Um... Hey Max, hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. Hey Juliet, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you've ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from ace reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? Justin. Sad a pat it! Sorry, my phone was in my bag. Hey Justin, you busy? Max Wax, I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it? Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Okay, he's stoned. Okay, and then our mom. Let me see. Um, call you right away, love you. It was so good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. Okay, I already, I already read that. Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. No comment. I've kept Lisa alive through all this, so we're still safe, as long as you're around. Now back to the books. Talk soon. Richard Marsh. Okay. Right, this is uh, Kate's dad. Max, this is Richard March again. <laughs> Marsh. I wanted to let you know that Kate's service is next week and her family would like to extend an invitation to you. I know you've been through a lot and we fully understand if you can't attend. Kate was our special angel and your friendship with her blessed us all. I'll send you the details later today. Again, thank you for being a light in the darkness. Thank you, Mr. Marsh. I will absolutely attend the service. I know my words don't mean much, but I want you to know that Kate is always in my thoughts and always will be. Okay, let me go back to Chloe, because I feel like there's a lot that I didn't read. Okay, I know I read Get That Ass in Gear Now. Max, hey man, I suck again. Sorry I got in your face and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. I think... Did I read that? I don't- okay, I'm just gonna read it. Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that's when she was road raging, so I don't think we, uh, read that. Okay, that is one of- that is one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on cigs, coffee, and candy for an all-nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO, and that was no emoji. Okay, we're caught up on text. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I read so much. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Okay. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Okay, so this is just, uh... Miss Grant getting denied, I guess. Surveillance for cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Hmm. 
You'd think he'd take all this stuff with him, right? Oh my gosh, look, it says warning, I don't dial 911. Okay, let me see. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Okay, it said there's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He wrote this letter to Joyce. But, like, there's some sort of glitch in her voice. Barely said anything. Okay, so let's try to read this letter. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody had even understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstep bounds with the surveillance and uh, something, and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. And he scratched out some things. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof instead. More, more proof instead. A student committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me. And then it cut off. Okay. He's definitely sad. Oh, that makes me William sad. Stuff. It was so incredible yeah. to see William again. Okay. I wish Chloe could too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. David's out there armed. If you think about it, we could literally just break this glass, or get a gun, and rewind. Do you know what I mean? Like, what the hell anyway. did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best S. Prescott. Okay. So he's working for them somehow, right? Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Okay, guys, I'm going to end that there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!